In this video, I'll walk you through how to verify a domain name on a Facebook business manager. So let's get into it. Now, I'll be assuming you've already created a business manager to begin with, but just in case you haven't already, all you need to do is type in the URL business.facebook.com forward slash create. We should bring you to this page, then select the create account button to get started. Entering your business name, Automatically, the name associated with your Facebook account will be filled in here. And lastly, entering a business email address. You'd want to make sure this is a valid email address and also it's accessible to you because you would need that for an email verification once you hit the submit button. Now, for those that already have a business manager created, we want to type in the URL business.facebook.com forward slash settings. So from here, we want to click on brand safety and then select domains. So just click on add to get started. There are a couple of rules stated here you should always have in mind. We can only verify root domains on here, for example, google.com, not its subdomain or sub pages. And also make sure not to add prefixes at the beginning of the domain name. All right, with that in mind, I'll just type in my domain name, booksum.com. Once the domain name is entered, just click on add. Okay, once that is added, we should see this interface saying the domain is not yet verified. And if you want to remove this, say you misspelled your domain, for example, you can do that by clicking on remove. All right, so we have two options to verify this domain and we will be going with the meta tag option. I've got this domain installed on WordPress, so I just need to head back to my website backend. To successfully verify our domain name, we'll be needing a plugin called Insert Headers and Footers by WP Beginner. So I'm just going to hover over plugins, select Add New, head up to the search field and type in Insert Headers and Footers. Then install and activate. All right, once we've got that installed, just hover over settings and then click on the plugin settings we just installed. Now let's head back to the business manager and then copy the meta tag. We just need to left click on this link to copy that and then head back to paste the meta tag in the header section of our plugin settings. After which, you want to scroll down to save changes. Now that we've got our settings saved, head back to the business manager and then select verify domain. And with that, we should have our domain verified. Select done. And now we can move on to the next tax I want to use this business manager for, be it creating a custom conversion, creating a pixel, or setting up my account to run my very first ad campaign. So that's pretty much how you can get that sorted out in no time at all. If you found this video helpful, I would appreciate if you hit the like button to help this video reach out to more persons. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.